everybody. Today I'm going to do a look that I just kind of want to do because I think it'd be fun. It's kind of Halloween-y, kind of not, um, but I'm going to do a Hufflepuff look. So I am a Hufflepuff. I am proud of a Hufflepuff. If you don't know anything about what I'm talking about, it's Harry Potter. Um, I read those books when I was little and then I've seen all the movies. I've read them again recently in January of 2017. So almost two years ago, uh, my boyfriend John and I went to Universal and had the best time. I have been always felt like I was a Hufflepuff deep inside my soul. I've been sorted into Hufflepuff by JK Rowling herself uh, via Pottermore. But yeah, so um, when I was in Universal, I did a Hufflepuff look every day. I wore Hufflepuff gear. This is my Hufflepuff scarf. Actually, it's a lie. This is John's Hufflepuff scarf. I'm just wearing it because I have a bunch of Hufflepuff outfits and I didn't put any on today. I put on something else because I forgot. I wasn't thinking. But I'm gonna do a Hufflepuff look. Um, now I'm doing this based on the colors of the house, which are yellow and black. And we are a loyal house. We are the best house. We're where where Newt's Commander is from. Um, Fantastic Beast is coming out. Now I want to say I say this in all of my um, tutorial. Get ready with me, whatever you want to call it. But especially today, by no means do you need to use all of the items I am using. This look came from three different eyeshadows palettes thus far. I haven't even gotten to the bottom. Don't feel like you need to use all of them. Um, to On the weekends, I try to kind of play with my makeup. I don't do project panning items. I just play with whatever I'm feeling. And today I just wanted to create this exact look, so I needed quite a few different things. So first I'm going to go into a transition shade. Pick whatever transition shade you want. I personally, today I'm going to use the shade Bones. It's a really nice kind of cool tone transition. Um, and this is the Lorac Beauty, uh, sorry, Pirates of the Caribbean palette. And I'm just going in that with a fluffy brush, as you can see here, fluffing it up. Just really messy, you know, nothing too crazy or hard. There we go. I feel like sometimes people sit there and will blend this for about four hours and a half. And, you know, I'm not a makeup artist. My makeup is by no means, like, the most professional, but, like, your girl doesn't have time for that. I don't know most people that do. This is just how I do my makeup every day. I feel like a lot of my get ready with me's are the same thing with different colors, but I still hope it's fun. It's fun for me. So now I'm gonna go into a matte gray. Now, I was looking through my collection and I realized I don't have very many nice matte grays. Um, so I really like the shade Silent Mary, again, from the Lorac Pirates of the Caribbean palette. It's a nice uh, matte gray, but whatever matte gray you own, do it. And I'm just gonna take that with a, a crease brush and just kind of put it in my crease. I do it a little bit high in my crease because I do have hooded lids and I want to be able to actually see the gray. Um, and this gray I just think is a really beautiful gray. It's very easy to blend. It's a matte. Um, so if you happen to have the Lorac Pirates of the Caribbean, Silent Mary is a great option if you want a matte gray. But again, any single matte gray you own will work. Just do you. Cool. So that kind of looks sunken in. I think this would be a really cool, like, spooky look. Something like this. Um, just stopping here. I forgot to mention, I did prime my eyelids. I prime my eyelids every day. Where is the thing? Today I use the Smashbox lid primer with that's light, so this is more opaque, so it kind of gave me a blank canvas. Now I'm going to go with a black. I could have used this. There's a black shade in here, but... I didn't. I don't know why. I was feeling using this palette. This is the Too Faced Smoky Eye palette. And I'm going to use the shade Smoking Hot. Again, though, any black you own will work. Any black. Um, I'm using a matte, though I think a sparkly black would also be fine. If you're feeling like today's look is pretty much all matte, but if you want it to be sparkly, do it. I like a sparkle. And what I do, I don't know if this is right. I kind of take my angled brush and place it and make sure it looks okay because I always feel like this eye looks droopier than this eye when I finish up. So I try to remember to kind of like look on it face on, do that, and then, oh see I just put it a little too far out I think, yep. And I just kind of brush it away like I can't do that, I really can't, but it makes me feel better. Um, and then I'm just going to... I don't know. I try to only do like a third of the lid, but it always ends up being half. Uh, did, does anybody else do that? I feel like every time I'm like, oh, I'm just going to do like the outer third. More like you're the outer two thirds or half. Um, but I really want it to be a deep black. 
there are a lot of really great black eyeshadows on the market. So, just to reiterate, because I've already reiterated 84 times, why not 85? You don't have to use these shades. There we go. So just a nice smoky black. I like to kind of blend it up in here. Um, you can do the trick where people uh, do the tape. A lot of people like that, and that's totally fine. You do that if that's how you like to do your makeup. To me, it makes the line a little stark, and so I don't use it. But I just use an angled brush and kind of like I, like I showed you, kind of um, stamp it and go along. But my eyeshadow also doesn't look as perfect as a lot of people's, so... Whatever makes you happy. If you want to do um, that, you can also use those like sticky tabs for uh, like an office supplies if you want. Whatever you want. So now yellow. Yellows are hard. And I've done a full video of my best and worst yellow eyeshadows. It's not one that people watch a lot. And that's okay. You don't have to if you don't want to. But I feel like yellows are hard to do. So this yellow I feel like really screams Hufflepuff and maybe because I had just also gotten this palette when I went to Universal so it's the palette I did play with a lot and it's the Urban Decay Full Spectrum palette a palette that did not get the best reviews but I love it I was recently at the airport and I actually saw this palette for sale still so people can still get it if you want but I'm gonna use the shade Calavera and I'm gonna do it on just a flat shader and just really pack it on. Now, I feel like this yellow is very br vibrant. It's very bright, which I appreciate. But it's not the easiest to blend. It does have some glitter in it. Though I don't really feel like that comes off on the lid too much. So I just go in as close as I can and then go out. I'm kind of going over the black a little bit to try to blend it. Though, like I said... This yellow, I can admit, does not blend very well. But I think it's pretty nicely pigmented. And I think it's a good yellow, especially for what we're doing today. So I'm just going to place it on there. All right. I've got a lot of this. This is also, uh, what is it? Is it the Steelers? Pittsburgh Steelers that are black and yellow? Is that right? Uh, the yellow jackets, Georgia Tech, they're black and yellow. Or they may be in yellow. They might be navy. I don't know. I'm not, I, I have a lot of friends that went to Georgia Tech, but I did not go. Um, so this is where we're starting. I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of my face. Um, and then I will do the under eye, like the finishing touches, the things that I think kind of like finish it off. But there we go. Black and yellow for Hufflepuff. I love being a Hufflepuff. It makes me really happy to talk about. So... Um, yeah, I'll be back in just a second. Alrighty, so this side is completely done. We're just gonna do some finishing touches on the, this side. It's my left. I think it's your right. I'm not sure. Um, so I'm gonna go back into that transition shade. Again, I'm personally using Bones, um, from the Lorac Pirates of the Caribbean, but you use whatever you want. And I'm gonna just really roughly put it under my lower lash line. There we go. Um, I, as far as like my face, everything will be listed down below. I did want to have a kind of really banging highlighter, though I don't even feel like it's showing up that much in the camera, but it is, um, Becca Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop. And I'm going to use the Marc Jacobs Fine Liner. I got this as like a free sample, uh, you know, one of those coupon codes with Sephora. It's fine. I honestly don't think it's anything revolutionary. I don't think you should buy it. Because I think there are some eyeliners at the drugstore that are just as good, if not better. But there you go, just to kind of like finish it off. Because I'm kind of doing like, you know, a very smoky Hufflepuff look. Because why not? I got some room right there. I always get stuff down there, do y'all? Even though I always get mascara up here and down there. Where's, oh, here it is. There we go. So I obviously did a really smoky lower lash line. So again, going to the black, I'm going to Smoking Hot from Too Faced. Smoky eyes like I did before. Um, I, you could do yellow down here, but I just don't feel like it would show up that well. So I'm taking my pencil brush. 
and just rubbing it. And so as I'm put placing it, I'm rubbing it in hopes of making it a little bit more severe. There you go. I think it needs a little bit more black. I feel like, you know, I don't want it to look gray. I want it to look black. Because that is Hufflepuff's colors. All right. And then I'm going to go into a really shimmery white. Any shimmery white will do. Um, I'm going to use the shade White Lies from the Too Faced Smoky Eye Palette. But if you want to use a different white, go right ahead. Um, now, I really like a very impactful inner corner highlight. So I really like to pack it on. This isn't even really as bright as I prefer. Um, so that's definitely a personal preference thing. So there we go. I usually like to put a white under it and then it really pops out, but I didn't do that today because I wanted these shadows to kind of speak for themselves, but I should have. So now I'm gonna do a winged liner. I'm gonna use the Kat Von D Trooper liner, um, but whatever your favorite link, winged liner is I like the Stila one a lot as well um the one thing is I really recommend doing it as close to the lash line as possible one of my like pet peeves is when you open your eyes and you can see a gap between where your liner is and where that like, you can see like the yellow peek through or something under it but between the liner and the lash line now my left one the one I'm doing right now on the camera is always easier for me, but it's never as... Like, I feel like this one is at a good spot, but this one always seems to be pointing down. So I'm going to try to over-exaggerate it a little bit. You know, make your point and then just bring it down. I wanted a really big wing liner because, hello, why not? I mean, a really big wing. Because I just, I was just feeling that. Do you see what I'm saying? Don't you feel like this is kind of pointing down? I feel like this is, this one needs to be a little bigger. Like fatter. I don't know if I do wing liner exactly right. That's just how I do it. So I like it. There you go. Um, I like a wing liner. And then I'm going to take some mascara. I'm using the Essence Last Princess False Lash Effect. This was like three bucks. And one of y'all recommended it. And I'm actually really liking it. Um, it's giving me some decent volume. It's kind of chunky. You know what I mean? Like my, my lashes get a little clumpy. So I don't know about all that. Uh, but I do like it. I feel like. You know, my lashes kind of look like false lashes, which is what I like. I don't wear false lashes every day, though I kind of would. I think I need another coat. It's kind of a, I don't know, it's a thick formula. It is cold here. Um, it's in the 50s Fahrenheit. I have to clarify that. John, my boyfriend, doesn't really understand Fahrenheit. He's from Canada. So, there we go. That... Oh, and now I need some brow bone highlight. I'm just gonna go in to a matte white. I'm gonna go back into the shade Ghostly from the Lorac Pirates of the Caribbean and just put it under there. That's a little much. I didn't mean to put that much. Don't put that much. Oops. I don't know if I gotta add to it. It's too much over here. <sighs> you know, mess up. Mess up on both sides so you can at least look the same. There we go. I don't know about this pink lip with this look, but that is my Hufflepuff makeup look. It is based on Harry Potter Hufflepuff. I love being a Hufflepuff, like I said. It makes me happy. Uh, so there you go. I hope you liked this video. It was really fun to make. Um, so yeah, as always, if you have any questions, requests, suggestions, comments, go ahead and leave those down below. If you have any questions about what's on my face, I'll link it below. I don't love the way this foundation and powder are looking. I feel like it's a little thick, but... Some days that happens, you see this is mascara every time. I'll fix that, and yeah, I'll see you all real soon. Bye.